Ever caught yourself wondering about the TV movie from 1979 featuring a certain legendary figure? Well, hold on to your remote because we're diving into the world of an iconic Hollywood actor stepping into the spotlight. Remember the first time you tuned in to witness the magic unfold on your screen? The 1979 TV movie brought forth a stellar performance by a classic Hollywood actor, leaving audiences with a mix of emotions. Curious about who stole the show for you? But here's the real kicker. There's a trove of funny, shocking, and even heart-wrenching facts about this production. So if you're still deciding whether to press play or not, here's a little nudge you won't want to miss what's coming your way. Now, who was your favorite classic Hollywood actor in this TV movie? Was it the charisma, the acting chops, or perhaps a surprising twist that made the character unforgettable? Share your thoughts. We're not just here for the details. We want to hear your cherished memories and personal experiences related to this TV movie. Did it leave a lasting impression, or do you have an unforgettable story to tell? Let us know in the comments below. Your stories add depth to the narrative, making it an experience worth sharing. So kick back, relax, and enjoy the ride down memory lane. And remember, we're all ears for your tales. The 1979 TV movie about the life of a renowned musical icon provides a glimpse into the early years of his journey to stardom. Directed by John Carpenter, the film navigates through the childhood of the protagonist, highlighting humble beginnings and aspirations. Kurt Russell takes on the challenging role of portraying the legendary figure, successfully capturing both on-stage charisma and off-stage humanity. The narrative commences with upbringing in poverty, observing his parents' struggles and longing for a lost sibling. The film explores the relationship with his mother, portrayed by Shelley Winters, depicting a devoted son striving to fulfill musical dreams. Russell's performance shines during this phase, maintaining a delicate balance between imitation and portraying a genuine, relatable character. However, the film loses some storytelling finesse after the passing of his mother. The pacing accelerates and the narrative becomes a series of swift, disconnected moments skipping through significant events in the icon's life. Introducing Priscilla, the eventual wife, and exploring relationships with friends become fleeting episodes lacking depth and exploration. The latter half, while benefiting from an extended runtime, deviates from the earlier solid storytelling. What initially felt like a cohesive portrayal of a young man's rise to fame becomes more formulaic and less engaging. The movie concludes with Russell's rendition of the icon on the Las Vegas stage, a fitting finale that somewhat compensates for the narrative shortcomings. In summary, the TV movie presents a commendable effort, particularly in the portrayal of formative years and the relationship with the mother. However, the latter half falters in maintaining the initial storytelling quality, succumbing to the challenges of condensing a complex life into a limited time frame. While Kurt Russell's performance stands out, the script could have benefited from additional refinement. In the realm of television, the 1979 movie featuring the life of a renowned musical icon left an indelible mark on viewers. Ranked as the sixth most watched program during its initial airing, this production drew attention not just for its viewership, but also for the intriguing casting decisions behind the scenes. Director John Carpenter initially had an unknown actor in mind to portray the iconic figure. This actor, resembling the legendary musician and possessing both vocal prowess and a striking physical resemblance, lacked the crucial acting skills required for the role. Consequently, the baton passed to Kurt Russell, who stepped into the shoes of the musical legend. A noteworthy aspect of the movie is the soundtrack, where all the songs were skillfully performed by Ronnie McDowell. McDowell's rendition added a layer of authenticity to the portrayal of the musical journey, contributing to the overall narrative. The film delves into the early years of the protagonist's ascent to stardom, with Russell masterfully capturing the onstage charisma and offstage humanity. As the narrative unfolds, the audience witnesses the protagonist's humble beginnings, family struggles, and the pursuit of musical dreams. Russell's portrayal maintains a delicate balance between imitation and authenticity, particularly in his relationship with his on-screen mother, portrayed by Shelley Winters. However, as the story progresses beyond the passing of the mother, the film experiences a shift in storytelling finesse. The pacing accelerates, leading to a series of disconnected moments that skip through significant events in the icon's life. Introducing pivotal characters like Priscilla and exploring relationships become fleeting episodes lacking the depth seen in the earlier part of the movie. 
The latter half, despite benefiting from an extended runtime, struggles to maintain the initial storytelling quality. The narrative becomes somewhat formulaic and less engaging, grappling with the challenge of condensing a multifaceted life into a limited time frame. Nevertheless, the movie concludes with Russell's rendition of the icon on the Las Vegas stage, providing a fitting finale that compensates for some of the narrative shortcomings. In summary, the 1979 TV movie offers a commendable portrayal of the formative years and relationships with Kurt Russell's performance standing out. While the soundtrack by Ronnie McDowell adds authenticity, the latter half of the film falters in maintaining the initial storytelling quality, revealing the challenges of encapsulating a complex life within a constrained time frame. In 1979, the collaboration between director John Carpenter and actor Kurt Russell marked the beginning of a significant partnership and enduring friendship. Prior to this, Russell, who debuted in film with It Happened at the World's Fair in 1963, shared the screen with a 27-year-old Elvis Presley. Remarkably, when Russell took on the role in the 1979 TV movie, he himself was 27 years old. Ensuring script accuracy came at a cost, as Priscilla Presley was reportedly paid $50,000 to meticulously review and approve the storyline. Her involvement added a layer of authenticity to the portrayal of key events in the legendary musician's life. The movie, a notable production in the television landscape, secured its place as the sixth most watched program during its initial airing. The decision to cast Russell as the lead, stepping into the shoes of the iconic figure, added an intriguing dimension to the narrative. Interestingly, director Carpenter initially considered an unknown actor, but Russell's combination of a striking physical resemblance, vocal prowess, and acting skills secured him the role. One pivotal aspect contributing to the film's authenticity was the skillful rendition of all songs on the soundtrack by Ronnie McDowell. This musical layer enhanced the portrayal of the protagonist's journey, providing viewers with a genuine connection to the musical icon's life. While the film commendably explores the formative years and relationships, particularly emphasizing the connection with Russell's on-screen mother, Shelley Winters, it encounters challenges in maintaining storytelling finesse beyond her passing. The latter half of the movie, despite benefiting from extended runtime, struggles with pacing, presenting a series of disconnected moments that skip through significant events in the icon's life. Introducing crucial characters like Priscilla and exploring relationships become fleeting episodes, lacking the depth seen in the earlier part of the movie. Nevertheless, the film concludes with Russell's rendition of the icon on the Las Vegas stage, delivering a fitting finale that compensates for some of the narrative shortcomings. In summary, the 1979 TV movie offers a commendable portrayal of the formative years and relationships with Kurt Russell's performance standing out. The soundtrack by Ronnie McDowell adds authenticity, yet the latter half of the film falters in maintaining the initial storytelling quality, revealing the challenges of encapsulating a complex life within a constrained time frame.